Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to this week's episode of Hymn of the Week. Now, today is the 31st of October, which means it's All Souls, tomorrow is All Saints, um, and you might imagine we'd be playing a suitable hymn for such things. No, we're not going to do that today. Um, we have a rather sad event today. Um, at the weekend, the Gartrell gang lost an acquaintance. Um, a rather sudden death was announced. Um, Rebecca, our friend from the United States, uh, Rebecca very suddenly and very unexpectedly passed away at the age of 48. Uh, and we found this out on Sunday night. So today's hymn of the week, this week's hymn of the week, is going to be dedicated to the memory of Rebecca. And for this, we have chosen a rather special hymn indeed. Now, this hymn was sent to me by our friend Joe Humans from South Carolina, from Joe and Marie. And it's a very, very fitting hymn indeed, moment by moment. Um, and I have here a little history of the hymn for you, which I want to read to you. Um, this is uh, a little story, a little anecdote about the um, genesis of this hymn. And it was written in 1907 by someone named Ira D. Sankey in their book, My Life and the Story of the Gospel Hymns by Ira D. Sankey, published back in Philadelphia in 1907, the Sunday School Times. Um, so it's a wonderful story and I'd like to read it to you. So the title, Moment by Moment, words by D. W. Whittle and the music by May Whittle Moody, who was actually D. W. Whittle's daughter. Dying with Jesus by death reckoned mine, living with Jesus a new life divine. While I was attending the World's Fair in Chicago, Henry Varley, a lay preacher from London, said to Major Whittle, I do not like the hymn I need thee every hour very well, because I need him every moment of the day. Soon after, Major Whittle wrote this sweet hymn, having the chorus, Moment by moment, I'm kept in his love. Moment by moment, I've life from above. Looking to Jesus till glory doth shine, Moment by moment, O Lord, I am thine. Mr. Whittle brought the hymn to me in a manuscript a little later, saying that he would give me the copyright of both the words and music if I would print for him 500 copies on fine paper for distributing among his friends. His daughter, May Whittle, who later became the wife of Will R. Moody, composed the music. I did, as Dr. Whittle wished, and I sent the hymn to England, where it was copyrighted on the same day as at Washington. In England, the hymn became very popular. Falling into the hands of the well-known Reverend Andrew Murray of South Africa, then visiting London, he adopted it as his favourite hymn. A year later, Mr Murray visited Northfield, and while holding a meeting for men in the church, he remarked, if Sankey only knew a hymn which I found in London and would sing it, he would find that it embraces my entire creed. I was very anxious to know what hymn it was, and when he had recited it, I said to him, Doctor, that hymn was written within 500 yards of where we are standing. For years, Dr. Murray had his wife sing the hymn in nearly all his meetings. It also became a great favourite in South Africa during the war. There you are. A little insight into the history of this hymn moment by moment. A gospel hymn. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's dedicate this piece of music to our friend, our dearly departed friend, Rebecca. And uh, for this, I have chosen the organ of Ulm, uh, U-L-M, a big city in the south of Germany. It's a wonderful German romantic instrument. What does that mean? Well, it's full of luscious sounding stops. Now, what I've done as usual, I've taken the melody, I've sort of improvised around the melody a little bit, building up, building up, building up. Then we launch into the melody and we build up through the organ all the way up to full organ, including tubas, 32-foot reeds in the pedals, the works. And then we take everything back down again to the softest sounds as we head off into the heavens. And what I've decided to do at the end of this hymn, haha, I have taken the harmonies of possibly, possibly the most beautiful piece of choral music ever written. This is from Maurice Durufle's Requiem Mass, 
The final movement of which is, of course, In Paradisum. And the final chords of In Paradisum are just very, very luscious sounding, deep, mysterious chords. And I've sort of managed to incorporate those harmonies into the end of this piece today. And I've chosen for that the um, almost American sounding registration of full strings and vox humane at various different octaves, all coupled together to give a very shimmering, ethereal, let's say, heavenly sound. In paradisum indeed. So here, ladies and gentlemen, we have my version of Moment by Moment, dedicated to the memory of our dear friend, Rebecca.
That, ladies and gentlemen, was my version of Moment by Moment, dedicated to the memory of our friend Rebecca. I do hope you enjoyed it. I do also hope you enjoy the rest of this coming week. In this part of Germany, tomorrow, Wednesday, is going to be a public holiday. And normally, I would have to go and play for All Saints services at church. However, this year, due to staff shortages, um, all of the services are taking place in the sort of respective cemeteries. Um, they're going to sort of, uh, they're going to combine All Souls and All Saints services. And um, for that, of course, no organist is required. So that means for the first time in a long, long time, the public holiday is also an organist holiday. And I will be using the time wisely, sitting at the piano, recording some music for Thursday. Don't forget, every Thursday is our piano music recording day. Uh, every Friday, Friday night is organ music night, Sunday, Sunday night is organ music night, and of course Tuesday's hymn of the week. I do hope to see you in the chat below, say hi. And I do hope to see you in the live chat during one of our live streams, either Friday or Sunday, and um, then see you in the Ethernet, as it were. <laughs> I look forward to it. Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I wish you a very pleasant week, and see you soon. Bye-bye.